It's not pairing. It is now. Please join me in turning to page one in the bulletin for our worship aid service this afternoon for Linda. The prelude and the resuscitation of the resurrection. I am the resurrection and I am life. It says and my eyes behold him who is my friend and not a stranger for none of us have life in himself and none becomes his own master and dies or if we have life we are alive in the Lord and if we die we die with the Lord so that we can live and die now the Lord says that is the Lord those who die in the Lord, so it is for the spirit, for they are testing their brothers. Welcome to Grace Episcopal Church. I am Reverend Charles Ulick, the rector and pastor here, and as a dear friend as well to, with Linda Songer. Thank you so much for being here on behalf of the family. Let us now sing in the blue hymnal found in your pews, Morning Has Broken. Number eight, number eight, Morning Has Broken. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant Linda and grant her an, in the, an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of your saints through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
Please be seated as we hear God's sacred words. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abides, these three. And the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Psalm 121, we will read the psalm responsively by half verse. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From where is my help to come? My help cometh from the Lord. The man of heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. And he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord Himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is He who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going and your coming in. Let us stand and sing, What Wondrous Love Is This, our gospel sequence hymn. We'll sing the first two verses before the gospel and the third verse after. Number 439 in your blue hymnal.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord Christ. This is from chapter 10, verses 11 through 16. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Lord Christ. May what I am about to say be in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. In helping uh, Martha and Amy, and really do very little planning, because Linda loved to plan, and she had very, she was very well organized. And so as we listen to our scriptures today and with the wonderful memories that many of you may have of Linda, it is actually a time for us to wipe away our tears, a time for us to celebrate her life. You know, we never know when death is about to occur, but it seems almost like Linda had a plan to die during Easter season because she, that's the type of woman she was. She liked to celebrate life. And just as our, our last hymn we were singing, it is a joy to celebrate the lives we have. I hope you get a chance and for a moment to join the family in the parish hall after our service today where we will finish in the memorial garden to look at some of the pictures of their family and as they, the children as they grew up, now full adults, now having grandchildren and their own children's children. Because that is the exact life that Linda would like us to celebrate. Those readings are from 1 Corinthians about the talk and the story of love is that so beautifully resuscitated by Paul to remind us that we should not try to split ourselves as people, but to try to heal our wounds, to remind us that 
Love conquers things, but we have to invite it in to help us with our woundedness. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of celebrating a a wedding down in Nashville. Two people, Robert Petter and Melina Birkin. These two have now wed. They use the same reading as we celebrate today. A person's life. A couple coming together with love and also celebrating that gift to each other. Linda was that type of a person. She was always endearing and wanting to share her love, even to sometimes when she felt that, or others felt that she was opinionated about those things. A little too strong of love, maybe, some may have said. But that's what the Good Shepherd does. We love unconditionally to follow and to take care of our flock. We care for those we love and to speak highly of them. Not to try to discern or tear down others, but to lift up. You see, the passage that we hear about is actually from the Old Testament of the Good Shepherd. It's from Ezekiel. And it reminds us that, that there are going to be marauders out there. People who want to tear us down by our gossip or by those things that we disillusion ourselves with, of the material things of our world. That wealth is more important than each other. Like Ezekiel, those people who would be taking and breaking down the the flock would also like to abandon those sheep that aren't necessarily a part of. You see, Linda was also a person who loved people who were different than ourselves, especially those who were different as a teacher, special education, but also as a principal. She lifted up those who were always different. She loved children, she loved teaching. That's why she asked these old kids up here, (laughs) these teenagers, to help Acolyte today. She endeared and loved children. She endeared this congregation and the Episcopal faith as a place where all people are welcome to come and join in the celebration of the Lord's resurrection and also in his life and death. A place where respite is a place of the middle way in the Episcopal tradition. As you pass this morning and as you, or this afternoon as you come forward, we've had a box here lit up where we kept the word Alleluia for all of Lent, the Lenten season. Once again, I think why Linda and God had a plan of calling her home in this season. I hope you take a look at it. It's reminding ourselves that nothing can break the love of God. It's a symbol of light, of God's grace, endearing and life and endearing us to know that even the darkness that that can sometimes seems to trap us, like death, It is not eternal. Because out of the darkness, new life comes. And out of the tomb, the Lord's resurrection gave us new life. So I pray, Martha and Amy, wherever you are, (laughs) Amy, Roy, and all you grandchildren and friends and family are with us today. Let not whatever might be harboring in your hearts, weeping and sadness, but let it be a time of resurrection of joy to know that God is with you in your journey, wherever you are being called to. May you hear God's light and love and forgiveness. But more importantly, may you know Jesus in the times when you feel most alone. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.
Please stand with me now and turn to page three in your bulletin, your worship aid, and let us, in the assurance of the eternal life given at baptism, let us proclaim faith and say, I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayers. For our sister Linda, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the resurrection and I am life. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Linda and dry the tears of those who weep. Hear us, Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. Hear us, Lord. You raised the dead to life. Give to our sister eternal life. Hear us, Lord. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister to the joys of heaven. Hear us, Lord. Our sister was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. Hear us, Lord. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Hear us, Lord. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our sister. Let our faith be consol consolation and eternal life our hope. Hear us, Lord. Father of all, we pray to you for Linda and for the, all those whom we love but see no longer. Grant them eternal rest. Let light perpetually shine upon them. May her soul and all the souls of all the departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us turn to our neighbors and give each other a sign of Christ's peace and joy. save me. Please be seated. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up as a sacrifice unto God.
We continue our service on page four of your worship aid, your bulletin. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who rose victorious from the dead, and comforters of us with the blessed hope of everlasting life. For to your faithful people, O Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when our mortal body lies in death, there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, O gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with Linda and all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. United in our faith, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for you, the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. 
wherever you are in your faith journey, all are welcome to the, all baptized are welcome to receive Holy Communion today if you'd like to receive. You're all really welcome to come. We have, we'll have communion with bread and wine. You are welcome to drink from the common cup or intinct it into the intinction cup and to receive yourself. If you'd like to pray together, I would invite you to please come and join me in prayer. Just cross your arms over your chest to indicate that you would like to just to pray as, as we are all Christians and community people of God on a journey. All are welcome.
Let us offer our post-communion prayer on page seven of your worship aid. Page seven. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your great love that you have fed us with the spiritual food and drink of your body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and has given us a foretaste of his heavenly banquet. Grant that in this sacrament we may be a comfort in, in our affliction and a pledge of our inheritance, and in that kingdom where there is no death, nor sorrow, nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all your saints, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. We continue our prayers on page seven. 
Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing but life everlasting. You are only immortal, the creator and maker of mankind, and we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to the earth we shall return. For so did you ordain when you created, uh, created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, and yet even at the grave we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant, and grace. For sorrow and pain are no more, no sign, but life everlasting. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend to your servant, Linda, Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of all the saints in light. Amen. Amen. This Paul represents Linda's baptismal garment. As she entered this Christian faith, she now departs this Christian faith of life and into this heavenly life. Please stand. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please sing with me, Love Divine, number 657, in your blue hymnal. <laughs> 